Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me featuring my dog's chewing and seasonal affective disorder. It's cloudy as fuck outside, the sun hasn't come out in three days, and hashtag that depression though. But makeup makes me happy, so let's do that and then we'll see where it goes from there. I'm going to start off with the foundation that erases all of my imperfections and also my failures. This is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and I am the shade Y325. So just apply it anywhere that you have insecurities. And to blend it out I'm using a MAC 196. But really, how sad can you be if you've got purple hair, right? So. So we are very much experiencing that freeze that's going around the country. We went from high of 80 something degrees to high of like 30 the other day. Now I know this looks crazy, but just bear with me. And see, that's the thing with really high coverage foundations like this one. You have to bring dimension back into them. Otherwise, they just make you look flat like this, which is no good. For my underest, I'm going to try a little something different. This is the YSL Touche in no, no eating the touche cla or divine, which is just like the sparkly kind. Chi. So I'm gonna put that under my eyes. It does have sparkle in it, but I'm hoping it like translates into a really sophisticated sparkle and not the I didn't clean up the glitter under my eyes kind. And then I'm gonna just blend it out with the same brush and my focus. So for my powder, I'm going to be using this Tony Moly Cat's Wing Clear Compact. It comes in a little kitty compact, and it's actually one of the better, best powders I've ever tried, ever. And it cost me like $10 at Ulta, which is kind of insane. It's really great. So I'm going to apply this under my eyes and just all over my face. This is the Becca The One Perfecting Brush. A little too Caucasian. So today I'm using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Season to Season Bronzer in the shade Medium to Dark. And this is a Kat Von D powder brush number 20. So I'm just loading it up. I'm mixing all shades together. I'm not going to go by season because that's dumb and works for like 2% of the population. I'm just going to go kind of warm up my face. And I know my lighting is shitty right now, but for the meantime, we're going to be working with a cocktail of household lights and the sun. So, if one of them decides to be a dick, you know who to blame? It's not me. It's the lights that are being dicks. Just sharpening the cheekbone a little bit. I'm gonna keep my glasses on for a little bit. Uh, for blush, I'm using this MAC Toledo blush in Kindergarten Red. It's one of those ombre pants. I'm just using an e.l.f. Uh, no, Wet n Wild fluffy powder brush. I'm 
I'm going to outline them a little. This is the ColourPop eyeliner pencil in black and brown. Actually, <laughs> you okay, Peach? It's actually a very nice eyebrow pencil, so I'm going to start with this. This is just for the outline. We'll fill it in with purple as an accent. MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette, which is one of my favorites. And I'm going to start with this color down here, which is... Ho! I'm going to put this right on the outside of my eye. Bring it in to the inside. Then I'm going to load it up on the inner corner of the eye. So what we're going for is a very... My hair matches my makeup halo eye. So I want to pack up the transition color first so that when we add that darker color it doesn't look completely off. Okay, then I'm going to take Sketch, which is that deeper burgundy color, on that same fluffy brush. We're going to load it up right at the outer corner. And the inner corner. Just fuck me up. I don't know why it keeps going in and out. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. So I'm going to take this brush from Sephora, number 45, Precision Concealer, but we're not going to use it for concealer. Take this one, and then I'm going to take my bottle of Fix Plus. I'm going to load up my brush with Fix Plus so that it gets on the carpet and my fiance gets upset. So this is a Max Press Pigment in Light Touch. It's still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Light touch is going to go right on the center of the eye. Ooh. Shiny. It's going to be so shiny that you're going to have to run away from the, what's it called, the niffler? <laughs> the niffler, yeah. The niffler! He's going to think that your eyes are made of gold. What? She cray. What would you do if it stopped recording and I didn't tell you? Kick your ass. <laughs> okay. Why? Oh no. I, Did yeah. it stop recording? N no. Well now I don't believe It's just you. going in and out of focus, like constantly right now. It's insane. So now you should have a mess that looks like this. Which is good. This is the kind of mess you want to have. So then fluffy brush, blend out the edges of that pigment, use your finger if you have to, sometimes it's a little more organic to do it that way. Why are you petting the dog? Because she just sighed because you said organic like that. Organic? 
just be sure that your eyeshadow looks very blended like to the point where it's just so natural that people are gonna ask you if it's grass-fed so I ditched Jacobo and I'm going in with Mark not Mark we ditched Mark is it good? Yeah. we ditched Marco Jacobo and now we're gonna do Max Mulder because it just applies better <laughs> So while the mascara dries so that I can apply my lashes, I'm going to do my lips. This is a Anastasia Beverly Hills Crush Liquid Lipstick. a little bit of the Ariana gloss So that is the finished look. I'm going to go uh, now because the lighting is getting kind of shitty and I have another video to record for you guys and the puppy is going to start knocking on the door any second now. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!